Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Alex and this is AMRC and today I'll show you a little problem I have with my E-Flight UMX A10. Uh, I wanted to go fly this yesterday but I couldn't. Good thing I checked before I tried taking off. So, let me show you what the problem is. Okay, as you can see the right motor isn't spinning it's trying to but not quite and the funny thing is I had this problem with it when it was brand new right out of the box now I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think it was uh, the left motor that was doing this and it was due to a bad uh, connection now it's pretty annoying to have that happen to a brand new plane but fortunately I was able to fix it quite easily and I'm hoping this is the case now. I'll uh, be removing the battery and I'll open this up to see if I can fix this or I need a new motor. Well, as far as I remember uh, I did put tape over here on the sides, that's how it's uh, held on, but I think the tail part is glued and I think I did that as well. Let me try and open it up. I don't know if removing the tape would be the best solution because usually it would take some paint off. So I'll just start cutting where the fuselage half meet. If you do this, make sure you don't push too hard, just needs to cut the tape, nothing more. Okay, seems like it's loose on this. Oh yeah, it looks like it's glued to the sides. I don't remember if I added that or not. Okay, nevertheless, I got to the part I'm interested in. And these are the motor connectors. I'll try showing you. Yeah, so see, this little pin came out probably from a rough landing. There is the connector. Now, these do have these tiny, tiny pins. I don't know if I can get it on camera. And they should be retaining the connector. Okay, so I'll try to bring it up close as much as I can. And if my camera focuses, so that's what should be holding it in. And apparently it wasn't. Then all you need to do, see the connector has these holes here where these pins go. And yeah, looks like the middle one is also coming out. I'll take that out as well. And if you do take these out, you have to 
remember the order so on this one it's blue black and red blacks in the middle if you mix them up motor should still be spinning but will be probably spinning in a different direction let me see if I can remove the whole top half there's a bit more tape here on the nose and I do believe this is factory glued I actually it goes in a bit okay yeah that piece of foam broke off but I'll uh, be re-gluing it I don't really have much options now and while I'm at it, I'll be checking both of these motor connectors to make sure there aren't any issues going further. Okay, got some pliers. Try and see if this will come out. Looks like not. What I can do is push down on this it's a little metal retainer but yeah no. looks like it's solid so I'll just lift it this wire so it seems fine but I'll Try and lift that retainer as well. Make sure it doesn't slide out. Okay. And now let's push this one in. Sorry if I'm not getting all of this in frame, but it's a bit hard to do. Okay, now it's slid in and it should be solid. Now, I test this before I put it back together. So, connect the motor. Travel cart is off. And let's see if it works. Okay. See, both motors are spinning now. So I'm really happy I got this fixed. Double checking to make sure these are secure. And yeah, now it's back to gluing and adding some tape. This is uh, the glue I use mostly for gluing foam. Who who poor probably heard about it. I've had good luck with it so far, so I keep on using it. You know, in the U.S., lots of people use foam or uh, foam tack, but I haven't seen that available here in Europe. So I'll start with the nose. Be adding a dab of glue here. So on this tail section, just a bit doesn't need to be too much. And since it held up so well, I'll also add just a 
couple small touches on the sides here just to make sure everything stays put and of course later I'll be retaping it okay that should be more than enough now it is important with this you press it on Make sure no wires are sticking out of the sides. Okay, press it on, leave it for a few seconds. Then remove. Okay, fast forward a few minutes and the glue should be ready. I'll be starting here at the front. And as you can see, yeah, it's already bonding. If I'll try pulling this apart, you, you get stringing. That's what you want. Then the middle section, you can make sure no wires are sticking out. I'll be using tape to make sure it's all secure. You can see there's some pretty decent gaps without tape and it doesn't need to be any special kind of tape just regular packing tape will work then you just put it here on the sides you don't have to do it in one whole piece Especially with plane like this that's a bit curved. Okay, it's all back together. Let me do one more check. Alright, no work. Aileron elevator rather. So that should be it guys, remember if you get one of these from brand new out of the box, uh, check, make sure everything's working. If you have the same issue, hope this helps uh, open up the plane and fix it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time, hopefully with this in the air. Bye.